evening and welcome to Friday Night Weekly. I'm Matt Henry and this is my good friend Joseph. And we'll be bringing the news to you as we see it, as we hear it. And as we smell it. Pee-you! Okay, don't... <laughs> Pee-you! Don't do, no, didn't need it twice. Alright, uh... Matt, if I may, I'd like to take a moment on FNW's inaugural episode to address the great opportunity and responsibility that is now laid out before us. Bringing the most important, hard-hitting news of the week around the entire world. Here right now on our humble show, we have the power to make a lasting, significant change in the world. One that will be felt by our children's children's children. And maybe if we're lucky, even our children's 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 children's. Wow. It's a personal journey that we all must take, and it's one of special meaning to me in particular. Uh, one that is near and dear to my heart. And that is, that is, uh, Ryan, can't read the teleprompter. Oh, uh, yeah, I didn't get one. <laughs> Sorry. We don't, what were you? We don't have cover a, in there, I thought. Okay. Don't have a teleprompter. First episode. I gave you the, I gave you the, okay, I gave you the cash okay. for that. We don't have a teleprompter. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, I, I, I did not, I did not memorize. I don't have my whole introduction. I was getting to the part about the, okay. All right. I gave you the I gave you the money for that though. So that's kind of your job, Ryan. But that's okay. All right. Uh, we, can, we can keep moving. Well, uh, news of the week. The Pope has taken sides with Russian President Vladimir Putin in his stance on Syria, putting the Pope in direct opposition with American President Obama. A confusing position when taking into account that in the last 50 years, most popes' strongest and prevailing positions have been ones of covering up massive child rape scandals. Totally innocent and non-murderer George Zimmerman has made headlines again. Apparently on Monday, Zimmerman barged into his ex-girlfriend's apartment, threatened her with a gun, and then smashed her iPad. When reached out for comment, Zimmerman responded with, It's not like it's the worst thing I've done this year. I mean the worst thing I've allegedly done this year. Creature of the 90s, Dennis Rodman has revealed for the first time the name of Kim Jong-un's daughter, of which I can't pronounce. This came after a five-day trip the two spent relaxing by the sea, which is just weird to picture. Tom Hanks is on jury duty. It's gotta be crazy for the people that are there. Okay. Celebrity. Perky-nippled Simon Cowell, former judge on terrible show American Idol, has turned up on a list of clients to rogue private detectives who were jailed last year, being linked to organized crime. This comes as a complete surprise to me because he always seemed like such a good guy. <laughs> In recent news, Down syndrome has been reversed in newborn mice using one single injection. You guys know what this means, right? Finally, finally, Pinky from Pinky and the Brain is actually going to be thinking what Brain is thinking. Tuesday night, Anthony Weiner's bid to become New York's big dick went flaccid with the soft and squishy 2.4% of the chode in the Democratic penis. A beat Weiner pulled out of his campaign pussy after sliding in through the back door on arrival. He was shot coming down the skeet, flipping the boner to reporters. Bill de Blasio won with roughly 40% of the vote. Boston Public Schooling has funded free lunch for all students. Now I think this is a great idea because hopefully it'll cut down the, on the amount of bullies in Boston. Bullying in Boston is a huge problem. You ever have to deal with the Boston bully? It's terrible. They're all like, Hey, give me your lunch money, you queer. And I'm all like, listen, I only have enough for two chicken patties. And they're all like, shut up, fatty Maddie. And I'm all like, at home 15 years later, you know, crying, thinking about the man that I could have been, the man that I should have been. But they don't know who I could have been! And they don't know who I should have been! That's our news for the week, and now let's bring out Ruben Glazer with a special report. Ruben. Oh, hello boys, how are we doing today? Let's maybe move, your, maybe move the cloth. Let's Hey Ruben. Hi. How are we doing? Glad doing to be good, here. Doing good. I got a special report for you guys that is going to blow your hair back. Yeah, uh, Ruben, I understand that you uh, talked to somebody about insects this week. I sure did. I sat down with an expert from the local university, Trimbleston. Wow. As a matter of fact, Samuel St. Hingis, you may have, you may have heard of him. 
learn some real interesting stuff. You're going to love this story. Believe me. Bugs! I sure don't like them. They can be sticky, slimy, and sometimes they get in your tea, and then consequently in your mouth. But I also didn't like Pluto when it was this stupid little thing trying to be a planet. Now I've read on Ask Jeeves that it isn't a planet anymore. Now it's just a giant space rock, and I miss it. Would the same be true of bugs? We'll find out on this special edition of The Rubin Report. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm uh, uh, Ruben Glazer, and thank you for joining me in the very first edition of The Rubin Report. Uh, we have actually a guest with us today, and, and I will be asking a very uh, crucial entomology question that I think, you know, it's, it's, it's on everybody's mind frequently. With me, I have a, uh, a professional from Trimbleston University. So, say hello. Oh, <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to be here, Ruben. I'm very excited. It, it don't, it's weird. Let's not make this the Sam Hingis show. Okay? Oh, okay. Sam St. Hingis show, whatever <laughs> this is. Okay, okay. Can we, can we, can we please move on? Yes, yes, of course, Ruben. So, uh, I mean, what, what do I, what do I call you? Like an insect, like a bug expert or so, like a, like a bug lover or something? What's, what's the, what's the title I go with here? <laughs> I prefer the term insectologist or entomologist. Okay, so we're over here with the uh, uh, world famous bug lover, bug cuddler, uh, Sam St. Hingis. Um, I guess let's just maybe get to the meat and potatoes of this interview, um, the, the reason I'm here. Um, what, would the, what would this world be like without bugs? In a, wor in a world without bugs, there wouldn't be any bugs. What would it be like? Would we, would it be, would we be fine? Well, a world without bugs would cause the ecosystem ecosystem, sorry, to deteriorate. Did you know that a lot of bugs are detrivores? They eat the things that human beings, of course, wouldn't eat. And because of that, they allow the cycle of the ecosystem to continue. I saw that look in his eyes. He didn't think I did, but I ain't no spring chicken. The way he stared at me, he was looking wrong. And, and, and more, more, furthermore, what did he have to gain from this interview? What was the end game? Was it girls? Was it glory? What was it? It didn't take long for me to grow wary of this unsavory character, and I put an end to this end. Bugs are a very important part of the ecosystem. I mean, if you could just imagine carrion. Okay, all right. That's, uh, that's good. That's good. But, but that's good. That's fine. But that's... It's, fi it's, fi it's fine. We're done. That's enough. We're, it's a, that's it. But that's very abrupt. Uh... Uh, Samuel, can you just take the mic? Please? Oh, sure, it. absolutely. Right, can, I have, can I have the mic back? Oh. I just have it back. Oh, where is it? The 9 11? It's actually a 9 11 this year. Yeah, Ryan, <laughs> what'd you get out of here? Can I tell him to scream? Can I tell him to beat it? Get out of here. Anyway, so there you have it. Right. Uh, let me tell you wow. something about bug experts. You can never get a straight answer out of them. You ask them questions and it's just mumbo <laughs> jumbo falling out of their mouth. <laughs> I hated that guy. Real jerk. Real yeah, jerk. You, you yeah. didn't really let him finish, Ruben. What, what the hell was that? Well, I, I mean, it's the first episode. What do you want from me? Yeah, that was great. No, that's what we want. That's what oh. we want from you. That was perfect. That's right. That was absolutely perfect. All right, check my yeah, hand. We'll maybe just, check my yep. hand. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you, Ruben. Yeah. Anytime. We'll see you next week. Yeah, I'll Ruben. see you then. Next All right. Week. See more about that bug guy. Damn it. Come on, give it back. Wow. Wow. I mean I mean this is this is really where we're setting the standard this this early. I mean how are we gonna how are we gonna top this next week? I guess you guys will have to find out. I mean this is you know, we're constantly gonna bring you the best news, the funniest jokes, the craziest interviews. I mean, you guys are really in for a treat. And this is only the beginning. We're gonna keep it coming. We're gonna keep it coming with this weekly, every single week. Friday night, weekly, you'll remember it. We're gonna be here. We are gonna be here. We are gonna be here.
just imagine carrying 